In this final segment, we're going to talk about something that is very important, um, perhaps poorly understood and rarely done, and that is cell protection and sheet protection. You'll notice up here we have the review tab, and on the review tab we have the protect sheet and protect workbook options. So here's what we would normally be seeing is we would be working from our home tab, and we have our users entering data in the input cell areas that we've shaded for their use. Uh, we would normally suppress the div zero errors. So let's go ahead and select that version of the document that has already addressed it as we've done in the previous section. So let's go ahead and select a version of the sheet that we can protect and it looks like the behavior we want it to exhibit. We come up to our review tab and notice that it is not presently protected yet. And that's an important step. So we have to ask ourselves, what do we want protected? And what do we want unprotected? Another way of asking it is, what do we want locked so users can't trespass on it? And what do we want unlocked so that they can have the benefits of a spreadsheet? meaning they put their data in and perform the calculations they need. Well, we want them to be able to edit the monthly amounts of their budget, and we want them to be able to input the monthly amounts of their expenses, but we don't want them to recalculate the totals formula. There's no need to. That will always be the sum of these six cells. Why would anyone need to fix it? If we did the calculations correctly over here, this will always divide the cell to my left by the cell that is down here for total. So why would they ever want to fix it? And the answer is they wouldn't. Now, of course, they may or do need to be able to edit their labels. So we're going to select the labels all the way over to here, holding our left mouse button. Release the button now that you've selected the range. Remember, that's called a range. And I'm just going to teach you the right-click method. I right-click, and the menu option I'm looking for is Format Cells. So I click Format Cells, and it's already conveniently brought up for me here, the Protection tab. And on the Protection tab, notice that the default value is locked. So every cell in the spreadsheet comes to us locked. We want to unlock them for the second step of this process. Now we're going to come over here and do the same thing again. We're going to allow them to write their own names in and enter their own values for the monthly income. So we select that range. We right click. We're going to format those. Again, they come to us locked. We're going to toggle the locked off so that now they are effectively unlocked. And if you're paying attention, you may wisely and rightly say, wait a second, those aren't locked. I've been typing them. You've been editing in them. How do you figure that they're locked? Well, protection is a two-step process. First, you have to unlock the cells that you want available to your user, and then... Step two, you turn on sheet protection. So now, notice what it says, prevent unwanted changes to the data in a sheet by specifying what can be changed. So we're going to turn on sheet protection, and this is asking ourselves a few questions. Do we want a password? Well, generally speaking, I say it's not necessary in an internal situation. Do we want to allow our users to be able to select the locked cells? Why would they? What will it gain them? So I say no. Do we want them to be able to select the unlocked cells? And the answer very definitely is yes. Select the unlocked cells and only the unlocked cells. So this is the one I normally check. This is my kind of go-to position here and I select OK. Now remember what we've done. We've allowed our users to select 
any of the unlocked cells, but we've protected the spreadsheet so that the rest of the cells remain locked. So let's see how that works. So I can check in here and I put $1,000, yes. But notice here, I'm trying to tap where you see my mouse and it's not letting me do anything at all until I get, oh, there we go again, it allowed me to activate that cell. Likewise over here, we could put rent. So now we have a spreadsheet that can function as a template for basically a countless number of users. And all we have to do is figure out how to save it as a template and then distribute it so that everyone can edit it to their own content. So how do we do that? First, we're going to get rid of our dummy data again. We're going to clean this up and we'll put this back to the E1 that we had. And now we have a clean, nice, protected worksheet. We come up here and select the office orb and we're going to select save as. Obviously we want to save it as an Excel workbook. So we click Excel workbook, but here's what's important. A template is a very special type of Excel workbook. And so what you want to do is find the Excel template. Notice it has XLTX. And here, a macro-enabled one is XLTM, just to differentiate it from the normal XLSX. Okay, so don't get too hung up on that, but just realize that when you want to save it as a template, you're going to save it in a different format, and it's going to put it into a different directory. Notice we're looking at the roaming Microsoft templates directory, and these are the following templates that already exist in that directory. So we're going to save this as budget and select save. And now our file name changed from what it was to budget.xltx. Okay, so what's so novel about that. We save and use save as all the time. But what we don't do is I'm going to close this whole file for you so that all I have open is Microsoft Excel. And now I want to create a new budget or give it to a friend, a daughter, a neighbor, a spouse, a coworker, a student. I hit file new Notice normally you select open. You select new when you want to create a new spreadsheet, clean spreadsheet. But what you may not be accustomed to is creating a clean spreadsheet based upon a budget. Okay, so we don't have it showing in here yet because we haven't used it recently. So I'm going to select my templates and we come down to get the one that I just created and it gives me a helpful little view on the right I can see. I select OK, and now notice we have a brand new budget one clean sheet ready for you or any other user to populate with their own personal data. It does not affect the underlying template. The template is there and protected forever. Copies of it can be made many times over, and each person can populate it with their own data, and it will never affect the template. Templates are very powerful and I hope that you will look into them further because it can save you an awful lot of time and it can give your company, your office, your brand a tremendous amount of accuracy and consistency.